Hi guys, welcome back. It's Index Card of Day 2017 with me, Creative Katie. Today we're on card number 22, and mine is entitled Little Things. I'm going off prompt. The prompts didn't appeal to me, but I'm anxious to see what other people do with them. If you want any of the supplies, check the description box. If you're not a subscriber, click the subscribe button. So I'm starting with a non-gessoed card. These are repurposed flashcards that I've cut the bottom corners to make them round. And what I'm going to collage on them is this absolutely lovely, colorful, fun fabric that came from Hawaii. Thanks, Jan. A member of our mixed media mayhem group here in Victoria had recently gone to Hawaii and she gave us a goodie bag of things to create with. And this was one of them. It's a piece of art all in, of its, in itself. But I love the colors here. And since I've never used material on any of my art journal or mixed media projects, I thought, now is a perfect time. Not sure if I should be using gel medium or Mod Podge, but I'm using Mod Podge and I'm just putting that on and just making sure I get good adhesion by pushing, rolling the brayer over top of it. I thought about painting an hibiscus and putting that in the corner, but I, since I did that in one of my art journal pages recently, I decided to go another route. So after a quick trim, and making sure that all the corners are adhered. I'm just putting another coat of Mod Podge on top to seal the fabric and to give myself a good surface to add anything else. So after that's dry, it's almost like plastic, and I decide that I'm going to add some gold script with my script stamp. So I get out the gold and I apply it onto the script stamp with a felt applicator from Ranger. These are so handy. I have a couple of the applicators. The others I have made by using Velcro from the dollar store and wooden spools or teacher stamps, the, the handle part of a teacher stamp. So I'm just putting this, the gold on there and just pressing it in and it gives a very light, delicate imprint. You can just see it on the camera, but in real life, it's quite noticeable. I'm on the search for a larger script stamp or where the script is actually larger. I find I use this a lot, but I find it's, it's a little on the small side and I'd like to source out a, a larger one. So if you're familiar with a script stamp that may be larger than this, leave it in the comment section. So there you can see the script. And it just adds that really nice detail. So giving this a dry because I do not want to inadvertently smudge it. I'm thinking, what am I going to do? 
So I grab, because I'm just thinking of flowers, it's so, the colors are so rich, I grab this stencil and I'm just going to tape it down and I'm going to stencil through it. Now this stencil has the flower parts are solid. So that is what I want for this. I have some stencils where it's just basically the outline of the flowers. Well then all the color that would show would be just that fine part. Here everything that's underneath the solid part of the stencil is going to stay that beautiful material. And I'm just going to put black everywhere else. And there you have it. So we have even more layers of interest and color. And you can see the flowers, but you can't see the flowers. Um, so I decide I need to edge it, get rid of those white corners. And I believe I went around it with the black. And once that was dry, I did it with gold. And that just reads well with the gold that it was in the script stamp. These felt applicators I've used and used and used, and after a while, the, you know, the stick part of the Velcro doesn't work as well. So the one part was very, very dark, the bottom there. And, oh, right now I'm showing you that I tried outlining the flowers in the white and in the gold, and neither looked really nice. So I just decided I'm going to leave it alone. And I'm going to follow the less is more. I'm just attaching a quote to the bottom, and I'm going to call this one done. And I can't remember the exact words of the quote, but it's, uh, enjoy the little things in life for one day you'll look, look up and realize that they were the big things. And so even like, you know, taking time to smell the flowers and they can bring such joy. So thank you, Jan, for bringing me this lovely piece of material that was the inspiration for this iCAD. I really, you know, it was such, such beauty in and of itself. Couldn't do much to add to it. Thinking I need a butterfly, I don't need a butterfly. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the close ups. So, if you look at the material that Jan gave, you can create a background similar to that and then start from there. Or if you have a lot of materials, dig them out and start repurposing them in your art. The material took the Mod Podge and the paint, everything really, really well. Thanks for watching.